I'd like to talk to you about indoor tools that are available in 2 and in 3D. This web page talks at high level about some of the capabilities that are built in to indoors, including mapping the facilities, customer experience, and in particular 3D. Indoors can be used to improve safety and security, maintenance and work orders, and managing lease spaces. I want to take you through a few of the 3D apps that indoors includes. And what we're talking about is the ability to render information that's inside your GIS in three dimensions, like you see the underground infrastructure. Here, this is a confined space or an area where you may want to get information about assets inside this facility before you enter it. It could be a high hazard area, an area that requires work. So a maintenance person who may need to come in and do an inspection could use this 3D model really as a digital twin to be able to identify assets, things like these fire extinguishers. And there's all these points of interest that are located inside this interior space that I could then navigate to locate and then get information about them. So all these are included. I can turn off some of the layers and then see these assets more clearly because they're not hidden by things like the walls or the ceilings. So this 3D model is as realistic a rendering as you'll get. It comes from a CAD Revit model. You can see it inside this web viewer. Even details like these pumps that may require maintenance. I could then locate where they are and then identify some basic attributes about them if I needed to maintenance on them before I even entered that space. And I could even use tools to help me navigate, say, from this fire extinguisher to an exit in the event I needed to leave there. I wasn't clear on how to get from one place to another inside that facility. It's important to be able to see these things in 3D because it gives you a much more realistic rendering of what you're going to encounter before you go into these confined spaces. Let's take a look at Atlanta Hartsfield International and We've got all their interior spaces mapped in three dimensions as well. There's two levels at the airport. This is the main concourse. As I zoom in, you'll see details in 3D. This is the water system that's included inside that interior space along with attribute information that I can access if I were needing to do maintenance or just information about that set of infrastructure. Let's take a look at the level below the main concourse and you can see that it is floor aware in addition to being three-dimensional so I can see information about individual spaces inside that facility that are floor aware. Let's go underneath the ground and have a look at the stormwater network that's also available inside indoors so now I could see all my assets and infrastructure and locate those things if I need information about them as an asset manager or maybe for the stormwater project how to tie into it, I could then use this indoor 3D tool to render where those stormwater network are located. Of course, they run into this detention pond, so we can zoom in and then look at details about that specific pond and see all the stormwater lines and assets associated with that pond for maintenance. Maybe there's flooding that occurred and we had to go in there and clean some cleanouts or some outfalls. I can see those simply by clicking on them and then maybe generate a work order if things need to be repaired. This is a large facility that I've rendered in three dimensions and I could then browse by an individual building and zoom to that specific building and then it is floor aware so because there are multiple floors in this facility in this building then I could just toggle between those floors using this tool and then see the individual units on each of those floors as well as what we call points of interest. Things like CCTVs, fire extinguishers, AEDs, any mechanical things. Also, the assets that are in three dimensions in reality can be also rendered. The heating and cooling pipes in this facility, you can see those things in three dimensions as well. Easy to navigate. It's a web-based tool. It doesn't require any specific software skills. And where this becomes helpful would be in the event, like there was a water leak in this cooling system and they couldn't find the shutoff valve so if you have these valves and these pipes rendered in 3D you can see where they are in the walls that way it would be easier to go out and then do sh uh, some maintenance or shut off a particular pipe if it were leaking prevent damage to the building we can even see things 
like the CCTVs that are scattered throughout the facility and quickly gain access to a live recording or a live video feed of that camera and it's what it's looking at at that point in time. Also, we can get directions to that CCTV or any other point of interest from where I'm located and it allows me to navigate in 3D interior through interior spaces and also in uh, throughout the, the campus in the exterior. So I can leverage uh, navigation inside the building and outside as well. And then you'll be able to see here, maybe I need to do some maintenance in this mechanical room so I could go to that room and then use a form like this to report on an issue with an electrical panel that was damaged or maybe the breakers would not reset. So I could create and generate a work order with my ID, then I submit that and that work order gets created automatically.